Uh, yeah, obviously the day in question, uh, Longfellow Road uh, in Coventry, uh, about 2pm in, in the afternoon, uh, and you've got a family uh, of young children, uh, and other members of the family, heading off to the park. Um, it's a residential street. Uh, some park cars, but there's houses, there's shops. It's a 30 mile an hour speed limit, and their intention is to cross the road, like everyone else does. Um, and as they're crossing the road, unfortunately, our driver uh, has chosen to drive at speeds which we've evidently proven uh, to be not less than 61 miles per hour in that 30 mile an hour zone, and that's 25 metres prior to the point of impact. Uh, he's, I can only use the word, ploughed through the group, um, didn't stop at the immediate scene, uh, stopped further down the road, uh, and then chose to run away, leaving Corey and Casper lying in the road. Um, awesome, uh, an awesome reaction. Um, it, it's thanks to those members of the public um, that we've had such a quick investigation. Um, you can imagine the shock, what they've just witnessed. They've just seen this car go past, um, but that didn't stop them. They, did, they didn't just stand and stare. They, they helped with Corey and Casper, and then members of the public went after and tracked and helped us detain the two persons out of the car. Um, and because of that, our investigation is so far ahead you know, before, before I even land at the scene. Um, I, I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, the only person that knows is, is him sat there. He, he, he knows, he knew he wasn't supposed to be driving. He knew he wasn't supposed to be driving at that sort of speed, especially on that type of road. Um, the way for me to describe it, it, it it's a callous act of an individual.